my background is architecture and always had this double interest in design and biology. And then I discovered that there's this overlapping field of biomimetics. So I'm interested in animals' buildings, biological material structures that usually exhibit various layers of structural design. The living ball is an idea that has been around for quite some time. So the frame that I work in is the so-called criteria of life. So which signs of life do we actually have in architectural design? And where do we see the blank spots? And that's the interesting part for me. So where do we not yet have a translation? The other research thread comes from Ariana's interest in the evaporation efficiency of different leaf shapes that she translated into ceramic tilings. These are leaves coming from the same tree, from the same canopy. And you will notice that these uh, leaves usually have different types of geometries. We are exploring shapes that are more like sun or more like shade. There we want to explore the behavior of those tiles in like a normal outdoor situation on a building facade in terms of thermodynamics and in terms of evapotranspiration. If you see a lot of, in this scale, blue means colder, that is a positive sign that your overall surface is colder than uh, the other ones. The process of making the tiles started with making uh, the same tile version but in foam and this makes the mold for ceramic tile. The question is which aspects from living biology can we integrate in those experimental structures. And one of it is the mycelium material. We produced mycelium panels and uh, we will mount those panels on the scaffold in the Bath Nature Preserve and we'll leave it there to monitor the weathering resistance of those panels and also see if the panels will be inhabited by different organisms like algae or farns and uh, if we can use it as a basis for a green wall system. Mm -hmm.